JJ. Keith Urban, hello. How are you? I'm really great, thank you. I'm excited to speak with you. Uh, first of all, condolences uh, on the loss of your friend Olivia Newton-John. Mm, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Speed of Now Tour coming to Wichita, 17th of September. Ingrid Andrus, Tyler Hubbard. Uh, my number is 120 miles an hour. Keith, what's the fastest you've gone on a car? 135. Was it 135? Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember the vehicle? It was in a. I had a. It, at the time, I had a, a Pagani Wira. Okay. So it's more so for the hypercar buffs. Uh, mine was an MGB, the traditional English Hunter Green kind of thing, convertible. It was great. And you did 120 in one, that. 120 in the middle of February. Like 220. No, just 120. Oh, just 120. Your got, madness. Got scary after that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Did it start shaking around that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I felt like you were going to break apart, like on a re-entry or something. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, so, your new single, Brown Eyes Baby. I, I yeah. love it. There, there's a lyric in there I want to focus on. Uh, it's my favorite lyric of the whole song. It's, it's pull the... Uh, Put the full back in your half empty and put the two in your step again. About to see where leaning gets me, baby, just say when. It's all about taking that shot, right? That's right. So I want to know, who took the first shot? Who made the first move? You or Nicole? What a great question. It probably depends who you ask, her or me. Okay. Uh, but I, I, was the, I, I called her. I got, somebody had given me her number, and I, I plucked up the courage to call her. I actually walked around with her number in my in my hand for you know if you will for weeks sure too nervous too nervous to call but i finally got courage to do it good for you good for you uh, i love seeing that um the cassette image you used to promote <laughs> brown eyes baby takes me totally back to the whole mixtape days back in high school if you were going to make a mixtape for nicole what song absolutely has to be on there well first of all let me let me also frame that that cover i did in my kitchen for nice the, for the single for the single cover, uh, I was looking through a whole bunch of covers for Brown Eyes Baby for the single that all these artists had done, and I, did, I hated everything. And so I went upstairs to my little area where I got a bunch of storage stuff, found a cassette, took it downstairs, grabbed some masking tape, tore up the masking tape, stuck it on there, got a Sharpie, wrote the song, song title on there, wrote my name on there, wrote a smiley face on my thumb, <laughs> grabbed my iPhone, took a photo, <laughs> Tweaked the coloring, <laughs> trimmed it, cropped it, sent it to the label, and that's the cover. You know, if this country thing doesn't work out, your career as a craft, graphic designer <laughs> is already, is well on its way, my friend. That's about as DIY as it gets. Right? <laughs> so, first so, song. People were asking me, like, what, where, how come you had a cassette? I love it. I <laughs> like, love it. Who has cassettes? But I love cassettes. Yeah. And uh, it's crazy because they're making a bit of a comeback right now, along with, you know, vinyl's been creeping back up in popularity, but... but uh, everybody's starting to rediscover cassettes right now. Yeah, yeah, I love it. What are you into right now that has absolutely nothing to do with your job? Uh, <laughs> that's a great question. What am I into that has nothing to do with my job? Um, I just binged watch Barry. Okay. Bill Hader. Okay. Which I just was obsessed with. Right. And I just finally got through all of season three. And heartbreakingly, it looks like it's done. Oh, uh, but so, I'm, I'm hoping at some point, somewhere down the track, they figure out how to, how to do season four. Sure, absolutely. One final thing here. You and I have actually met 21 years ago, almost to the day we met in Memphis uh, at the St. Jude Country Cares Radiothon. It was my first. It may have been your first. We were in the elevator together. And I know you, there's no possible way you'll remember this, but I looked at you and I said, isn't it funny how people never talk in the elevator? You didn't say a word to me, dude. Total shade. <laughs> Total shade. And I have, I, might, I have, been, I might have been plastered at that stage. It, well, okay, so it was like nine or ten o'clock at night. So fair enough. I might have been looking for the ducks at that hotel. Right? <laughs> yeah, the Peabody. See, you remember? Peabody, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The ducks come out and jump in the fountain. Yeah, absolutely. So anyway, this I've waited twenty-one years to tell that story. And I'm so glad that I finally got to. Uh, I am so sorry I did not talk to you in the elevator. Today. I am. I am. I hope I'm making up for it right you now. You know, I, I'm still slowly working through it. Um, my therapist <laughs> says I'm almost there. Uh, so, anyway. We're a work in progress. What can we say? 100%. Hey, Keith Irvin, yeah. super excited to have you come to Wichita. The Speed of Now tour with Ingrid Andrus and Tyler Hubbard, the 17th of September. Tickets starting at around 30 bucks, which is short money for what's going to be a great show. And looking forward to seeing you in about a month. We'll give you guys a million-dollar show, so it's a hell of a bargain.